Hey friend, welcome to Ask Dr. Betters. I want to encourage you to support this ministry. One of the ways in which you can do that is by downloading the app. It's called Help and Hope. Just go to your favorite app store, download the app, gives you all the information about marketing ministries and specifically about Ask Dr. Betters that you need. Well, somebody asked the question about 1 Peter chapter 4 and verse 6. Let me read it to you. 1 Peter 4, 6 says, For this is why the gospel was preached, even to those who are dead. And though judged in the flesh the way people are, they might live in the spirit the way God does. Some people have interpreted that as a second chance after death, because it refers to those who are dead. That the gospel is being preached to those who are dead. So the question is, can lost souls repent after death? Specifically, can lost souls in hell repent after death? The answer to that question is no. There is no second chance after death. Today is the day of salvation. Now is the acceptable time. There is no second chance after death. So what does this passage mean? Well, it's, first of all, there are other passages of scripture that make it very clear. Uh, Luke 16, 26 and Hebrews 9, 27 make it very clear there's no second chance after death to repent of our sins. So when we compare scripture with scripture, for this scripture in, in uh, 1 Peter 4 to mean that there's a second chance after death, we'd have to rewrite the rest of scripture. There is no second chance after death. The story of the rich man and Lazarus gives us plenty of data because the rich man in hell lifts up his eyes he sees Lazarus, the man he neglected while he was alive, sitting in the bosom, resting in the bosom of Abraham. The rich man is in hell. Lazarus is in heaven. And what is the rich man in hell doing? He's begging Abraham to send Lazarus to warn his brothers, to warn the rich man's brothers so that they don't come to this place. And what is the response? The response is there is no second chance after death. There is no second chance for the rich man. While his brothers are still alive, the gospel can be preached to them. So we have to compare scripture with scripture. So if other scriptures support the belief that there is a second chance after death, then we would have to say there's a second chance after death. But if the rest of scriptures are contrary to that doctrine, then we have to compare scripture with scripture. So what does he mean when he says, for this is why the gospel was preached, even to those who are dead? Well, he's referring to people who are Christians, who died. They're the ones who are not dead. But there was a time when the gospel was preached to them. So while they were living, the gospel was preached to them, but then they died. That's all that verse means. So this is why the gospel was preached even to those who are dead. In other words, Christians who died. That though judged in the flesh the way people are, that's death, that they might live in the spirit the way God does. They're living in the spirit because they came to know Christ while they were alive. This verse says nothing about a second chance after death. It's only referencing those who while they were alive, received the gospel, trusted in Christ, and then they physically died because that's what the Bible tells us is appointed unto each man to die once, physically. Now, whether or not we die a second time, spiritually, 
is, is based on whether or not we trust Christ as our Savior and Lord. Hope this helps. Hi, my name is Melissa Weisenfels, Executive Director here at Mark Inc. Ministries. Thank you so very much for your continued support of this video series. Ask Dr. Betters is not meant to be a substitute for professional counseling, but instead is designed to extract biblical principles around the questions being asked. We encourage you to seek professional counseling if needed.